And we are told that the Kutuka International uh, Airport is being uh, disinfected. And my colleague Sarah Paco is there. We are told that the aviation minister is currently addressing the press. Let's take a look at that. through the airport day. It means that when the closure of the airport was enforced, you've lost um, revenue. How much have you lost and how would you be able to recoup this when um, business? First of all, the impact on the, the aviation industry and the fortunes of the airport company it's a such a matter that we we'll have to meet another time and talk about because it's so involved, it's so detailed, and there's so many facets to it that we cannot discuss that now. So let me plead with you that we should set that aside and then come back to that later. We we'll invite you uh, when we're through the, uh, the write-up on the research on the, the impacts. We would let you know what needs to be done on that. Secondly, no, I will not tell, I will not comment on that, please. I don't want to push based on what you want to do. We want to give the facts, the right information for you to go out with what needs to, to be set, sold out to the public. As to, it is essential because if we do not do it, it means that anybody who's come to fly, or any of the operators, the cabin crew would be, uh, will come into contact with the virus and that would not be good. We keep spreading throughout the whole country. So it needs to be done. Principally, the president has ordered us to do that. That's number one. Secondly, the benefit of this is to make sure that nobody contracts it. That's all. Uh, thank you very much. As we speak, the disinfection is going on. Pardon me, the speech is making my thing to slip. As we speak, it's happening in Kumasi and in Tamale. And uh, they're going to move on to Wa and uh, Takrari very soon. Uh, the provision has been made for them to make sure that all the gadgets, all the uh, commodities that are required will be in place when we commence flying again. Yeah? Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, let's go around and, uh, and see how the Joseph Kofi Ada, as aviation minister, I mean, essentially telling us why uh, the need to disinfect the uh, Kotoka International Airport. My colleague Sarah Paku is there putting together all the reports you need and all the information you need. Regards.